Okay, hello there, Dr. Mintz again. This is a uh, case of a patient with some type of cancer. And it's a nice demonstration of what mediastinal lymphadenopathy can look like. And you can see the importance of IV contrast in allowing you to distinguish the mediastinal vascular anatomy from this non-enhancing or inhomogeneously uh, mildly enhancing mass, which is the adenopathy. And this I would characterize as precarinal, and then it may extend off into the right hilar a little bit, hilar region, and then you have subcarinal adenopathy. All right, but that's not really what we're looking at here. And a number of fairly subtle liver metastases numerous small lesions. Usually they're much more conspicuous than these. All right, and then we have, okay, since we're in GU, let's look at the adrenal glands and the kidneys. Okay, so we see both adrenal glands. Here's one here, and here's the other. You should be very comfortable, get very comfortable with looking at the adrenal glands and finding them. Remember what I've told you, if you don't think about them, you'll never see them. Okay, so here you have the left kidney looks okay, a little probable cyst, a little nothing, one centimeter, whatever there, might do an ultrasound for it. And I don't see the right kidney. Oh, there it is. It's low. It's abnormal. It's ha is it hanging down there low? No. No, it's actually a pelvic kidney. It has developed in the pelvis, and it gives this gives this abnormal morphology as if the hilum is splayed open and you have a very short ureter accordingly and the vessels often connect directly to the iliac vessels. A little hard to demonstrate clearly here but a pelvic kidney that's the bottom line so if you see a CT abdomen or an ultrasound abdomen and the, pa and the tech says or someone says, oh, there's only one kidney, did you look in the pelvis? Okay, ultrasound is a good example. Is it a pelvic kidney? In this case, yes, it's a pelvic kidney.